what's up so um we are back again and i'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make um, a sarcodia type beat the trap type you know the the bleeding type and sorry i have a hiccup so i have some hiccups so i don't know how to mention it but so you you'll you be seeing me doing the, that kind of thing more often so let's get back to the tutorial I've already loaded I've already loaded my instruments that I'm going to use the drums and all those stuff so let's just go into it and my tempo is at 100 so let's just start with the melody I'm now coming to se select the preset that I'm coming to use so let's go with a clock so let me go to scale highlights man the help help a skill highlighting let me go for um, a minor working on the um, chord progression first then I might put some effect on it some gross beat or something on it so normally what I do is I when I'm working with the chord progression and all those stuff the melody aspect of the beat it takes it takes some time because I want it to sound really very professional so I just take my time and build it one step at a time. sound the sound let me see how it sounds here different sound it 
So I'll turn down the that distorting sound. I'll turn it off using the filter here. It's a bit crash effect. It gives it gives you like a lo-fi effect. So I'll turn it down. So I'll put a gross beat on it. Then I'll go through the presets. Um, I'll go for the gate. So with the delay, I'm just playing with it and when it sounds good to me, then I'll leave it that way. So I like the way it sounded. So let me let me go for a bass here, an intro bass. Preset stop plugin. gives it a swaggy type of bass Kind of track, you know. 
it's just going like the way that track is going but let me add more instruments to it so i'll copy the first the the chord progression and paste it in another vst stock plugin vst remember i'll be dropping this fop for free so you can work with it anyhow you want to work with it but and i'll be using uh, this uh, plugin for an arpeggiator i will arpeggiate the melody the chord progression so I'll, I'll go to the here settings and i'll go to the arpeggiation so i'll just click on this knob and to give me an arpeggiation so i'll change the range So let me see how it works with the bass. way better so let's hear it with all the instruments uh, that's what 
that circle there that's huh so this one I, I i didn't add the 808 because it wasn't needed the base was okay and all that stuff so the next thing i had i i i should put inside is a vocals like vocals and all those stuff but it's, it's very simple so i'll i'll just convert it into a zip folder then you guys can work with it so make sure you subscribe to this channel share this video support this channel let's grow and i'll be dropping more tutorials so whatever whatever you want me to drop the whatever tutorial you want me to drop just comment under the under this video and i'll i'll, I'll drop it so see you all next time peace out